How's it going, Internet? I hope you're having a great night tonight. It is that time again to get into animation and talk about inspiration in the creative process. Um, for today's inspiration, um, I wanted to look at one of my favorite artists, um, Ludo Lullaby. I believe it's how you say his name. Forgive me if I'm saying it wrong. Um, he's a French uh, illustrator, and I just love his line work, his, um, his sense of anatomy and posing and expressions and everything are just really solid they're really spot on he's one of definitely one of my favorite um, inspirations these are just a couple um, little glimpses of his work here um, this is from the masters of anatomy which is a book that I hopefully I can pick up uh, sometime soon but I mean if you look at his line work it's just great and the way that he lays out his pages Posing that he gets is just really strong. You can really just easily read um, everything that's going on. Also, he's got a great grasp on anatomy and layout. And he's a great inspiration. I'll leave a link to more of his stuff in the information below. Uh, I definitely suggest checking him out. As far as a quote of the day, I couldn't really find anything from Ludo himself. So I. Uh, I grabbed this David Bowie quote, and I thought it was definitely uh, inspiring, to say the least. And it, uh, here we go. I always had a repulsive need to be something more than human. I felt very puny as a human. I thought, F that, I want to be superhuman. And I think as a creative person that that's a great way to go about um, thinking and viewing the creative process, um, is don't be satisfied with just good be super good you know whatever field you're in whatever it is that uh you're working on don't be uh you know there's no points for second place so anyways um let's get into animating for today this is a snail rig that i grabbed off of uh, mothman td and i will throw a link in the information below it's a free rig and we're using maya 2014 for today now, if you're unfamiliar with this series, what we do is um, we take a rig. I've never used this rig before at all. Just really open it up right here and give ourselves about an hour, two hours. Depends on the day, depends on the rig, depends on any um, issues that come up or creative ideas that take a little bit longer and see what we can come up with. And we talk a little bit about instruction, a little bit about theory and any other subjects that kind of plug along. So with that being said, let's get into uh, today's work. I'm just going to hit, uh, doesn't look like the shaders turn off, so we'll just go back to five. And let's grab this controller here. Let's see if we can get a better pose throughout. It's a little bit of a laggy rig. solid flat so let's see what we can get here be able to lift the tail up so I wonder why this tail is going that way. So I guess we'll just do it in Y which means that we will have to bring that down there and what happens if we do it a little bit. Hmm. Let's move that all as a unit here. This is all going to be neck. Let's do that. Let's see what kind of controllers do we have on this shell. 
it's just all one universe, one here. And this is our root, so this is the central. What's the difference between the center and the root? Hmm, interesting. Okay, you know what? I think I'm gonna undo the uh, rotates for now. Let's just pop that back to zero. And then we'll get into some rotation later as time and posing permits. And let's get into doing a little bit of the antennas here, see if we can get something better than this. There we go. Now let's go ahead and grab those two. And we'll let's pull them back a little bit more. And push those ones more a little bit forward as well. Okay. Okay, and let's go from here. little eyeball things here, tentacles, and let's go ahead and rotate those, and put it forward a little bit more, This is a very cute rig. I hope that uh, we can get some good animation out of here. We can give it sort of a underbite kind of an idea here. Might be kind of fun. Let's get a little bit of rotate here as well. up a little bit more so we can get a better silhouette out of here. So let's see. Oh, sorry. And then let's go ahead and pull that out. Let's just go ahead and grab everything and we'll turn off uh, everything except for our NURB curves, our NURB surfaces, and polygons. So it should give us all of what we want for right now. We'll go ahead and turn our grid off here and we'll go ahead and save our file here. File save scene as. And uh, if you do, if you are liking this series, remember to throw me some thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Um, I'll be putting out new videos all the time. If you're looking for something that's even more simplistic than this, um, look on the uploads. Um, I should put a new playlist up that's more of a basics. There's a Maya basics video I did the other day that goes into a little bit more um, real basic animation. If you're looking for that as well, and I'll continue that series too. So let's just call this snail. Save, continue, and then we're gonna grab everything here and go to frame one and we're gonna set a key. And let's grab this guy, let's go to 48 frames. And let's go ahead and move him along. It's a snail, so we don't need to move him too far. Actually, let's not do that, let's do something different. Let's do head goes forward. Uh, 
that's not gonna work. I think we want to lead with the head, so we'll go. Whoop. Set it at six, so the head will go out and the body will go forward. And up goes next one. I don't think we need to go that fast. Maybe we'll move it to eight. Okay, let's take everything and let's uh, get our window animation editors. Let's go to graph editor. Let's give us two more frames. One, two. And I'm just grabbing those and middle mouse buttoning those over two frames. I want to give a little more time for it to get to where it's going. Let's see. And this feels like it's moving a little too much, so let's go ahead and pull that back a little bit. Let's flick between those two frames and see if we got pretty close to where we want. I want to keep that head kind of like it's in the same space, maybe a little bit more. Let's just finish that up. Let's do that every eight frames for now. Then we'll delay the tail, and I think that'll work pretty well. Give us this kind of sliding, snaily action. Okay, so set that there, and then we want to go 24. Move that forward. Set that there. Set that there. I've never really done a walk that's exactly like this, so it'll be a little bit of tweaking, but I think that will be fun to do. It's just the uh, period key on your keyboard. And so we're going to actually need to move this forward a little bit more as well. Let's go make sure we're on the right frame here. Let's flick between those two keys. Set that, grab this one, set that. Let's go to 40 and pull it out again. Set that there, go to 40 in the body, and then go to 48. And set that there, bring that back. And then I want to flick between those frames and see if we got that right. See if we got that. Okay, the basic idea is working. We, we're going to tweak it a bit. That's working. Now it's going to 
even out those moves a little bit more here. Give me one second here. Okay, sorry about that. We just don't want that to completely lock off, so we're going to grab the uh, translate left to right, and we're just going to have it do a little bit of a pull back on the translate Z. crazy kitties going on, so let's get back into our video here. I think instead of having it reverse, we're just going to have it uh, continue a little bit slowly, so we'll take those values and we'll just have it ease just a little, just so it doesn't completely lock. That's feeling a little harsh. So let's check that out. before uh, no, let's have it go two frames after 10 maybe 18 and that would be 26 and 34 let's see 42. Just had kind of like a accordion recoil effect out here. So the head goes first, then the middle neck goes after that, and then the back it squashes up. And we want to go eight frames there, so that would be 27. And eight frames from that would be 35. Sorry. Yeah, 35. So keep it from really locking or getting too. And I think we'll approach the back a little bit differently since we got kind of the front working a little bit better. Let's actually go ahead and take everything we have and let's move that all forward a frame. the recoil a little bit more as well. Let's see. Maybe we could do a little less on the head then, and then a little more on the mid. Let's see how that 
It still feels like it's holding a little too much and sticking on there, so we gotta be careful about that. Grab later our translate Z's. Let's go ahead and grab all of these, and then at 8, we want to pull those back. And 16, we'll push them forward. 24, we'll pull them back. Give us kind of that squash and stretch there that we like. And we'll offset this by about 2 frames as well. Set it back about two frames. One, two. Let's see. And then let's go ahead and offset those by one frame later. And one frame later, so that way there's like a ripple effect throughout. So let's go ahead and see, watch that now. Okay, I definitely feel like there's a little too much neck. get rid of there's like a little bit of a divot there so you want to be careful about that make that a little more smooth here so let's watch that now that feels a little better okay let's go ahead and save what we have control s continue and we'll give it a little bit of rotate Z. No, let's do X. Why is there no side to side? There we go, rotate Y. A little bit of squish that way. Then 16, do that way. And 24, so 32. scale those down a little bit more though. Okay, let's go ahead and watch that now. And let's go ahead and do a little bit of the opposite on the tail.
let's do a little bit more on the tip of the tail here. Actually, let's do that on the eights. And 16 plus 8 would be 24. Actually, go the other way with it, though. It's a little bit laggy with this rig, but that's okay. I think we want to do a little bit of this so there's a little bit of warble in it. So we'll see if that idea will work. Set it. Um, we'll minimize it a little bit more. And we'll offset it throughout so that front will lead and the back will follow. So grab this one and this one and grab our rotate uh, Z's that we just did. We'll delay in the frame. And we'll grab this one, rotate Z, and we'll delay that one more frame. So I'll have to just stick to these back too, too. otherwise it'll affect the head, and I don't really want the head affected by that. So I'm going to a little bit up there. A little bit like that. This move will work. Okay. Now 
to really get into those values and shrink them down a lot. So we just want a little bit of this to be on that. We can accentuate it in the tail, but I don't want uh, a ton of it in this neck area. Okay, let's, let's go ahead and squash that one down a little more as well, too. tail ripple the other way. Let's see. Still feel like it should. Um, have a, what if we didn't? If we just did straight, so that it's not doing that. Let's see. Does that still work? shell even a little bit. And then we pushed it forward. Just so there's a little bit of drag in that shell as well. We'll probably have to tone that down a bit too. But let's see if that'll work. translations go a little bit further upward or forward and a little bit less back. Just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, it's got more stuff. Just a little bit of rotate there, a little bit of rotate there, a little bit of rotate there, and a little bit of rotate there. So there's a little bit of like a weaviness to it. We can get that working right.
did put in a little bit of rotate Z, but I think that's going to be way too much, so we're going to scale that down. Because I don't want it tipping too much on its sides here, but just a little bit. It's got to see that. I think what we're going to do for this guy is actually have it go on five and then thirteen. What's eight frame from the memory forty five? Good. just a tiny bit of this right here, just a tad, just a titch. scale that down a little more. Let's see. Maybe we could do, do a little bit of rotate Y on here. And rotate Y over there. And Y over there. Let's take that down. I'm just I'm probably being a little quiet tonight. Sorry about that. Make sure that I'm talking up a little bit more. Z. 
velocity. All right, I guess it's rotating out here. A little bit of up and down on the head here. that tail is a little bit different when you hear the tip of the tail, but that's okay. That feels a little bit better. I think we could do a little bit less on it, but I think that might do work because the timing seems about right. at six. And then eight from six would be fourteen. Plus eight would be twenty-four. No, twenty-two. And thirty. values a little bit more. Maybe a little less movement than what we have. We'll scale them in, scale them back a little bit. Okay, let's go ahead and see that. And then let's go ahead and grab all of these guys. Delay in the frame. And delay those a frame. And delay those a frame. And delay those a frame. Okay, let's go ahead and watch that now. I just feel like the timing's off on those. So maybe we could push them forward two frames. So there's one, two more frame delay. Okay, let's amp up the rotation on themselves, the front knobs, and kind of even them out a little bit more, because we're not getting enough movement throughout. Let's delay them. Maybe we'll give two frames in between each of them, so I want them to feel more loose. That's not the answer. There's 
I'm asking you to either loosen my or open the door. We will take these guys and we'll rotate them back. Five, the thirteen, it's down. Seven, four, five, and three. Let's try that now. Okay, let's try that now. See if that enlivens them up a little bit. That's better. Six plus eight is fourteen, and then I have twenty-two and thirty and thirty-eight, and what do we have after thirty-eight? Come on, forty-six. It's a late night. Forgive me. Too much now. So let's scale it back a bit. So let's see. Let's see. far forward so we can scale that back a little bit. Let's see. And let's go ahead and play up these guys here. There's two frames. Probably too busy though. Let's see. This one, and let's just offset everything by one frame just so it's not hitting all at the same time. And this guy went up one frame before. And let's go ahead and watch that now. And let's go ahead and do one more frame on these guys.
x is 0 there, and an 8 and 2 sum this way, and then we take it to 24, and get it there, and 24. Let's go ahead and definitely tone that down a lot. Okay. It's working pretty well. Let's go ahead and save our file here. It needs to add a little bit of sway into these antennas here. So I wanted to do originally. Just a little bit in here. And let's do a little more on this side too. Okay, now let's get into doing a little bit with these guys here. Just do a little kind of bounce here. Not too much on these, but just a little bit. Keep them alive here. Oh, we're just going to even those values out a little bit more. Those guys want to frame just so there's a little bit of a ripple effect here. Delay that frame. And it's playing back a little bit slow at speed, so we'll just kind of watch it here. It feels 
this could. Let's see. Maybe a little bit more on the bottoms and the top, though. Just to add a little more life to those. Let's see how that works. And maybe a little bit of bounce on this lip here. But let's do that on on that jaw. Okay, let's go ahead and zoom out a little bit more. Let's go ahead and watch that. It's pretty good. It's got a nice ripple throughout the body, a little bit of delay and rotate in the shell. Clean up that rotate Y. Those rotate Y values in that shell though a little bit more. something on every key here now. Yeah. This is pretty much keyed on these ones now since we got that all going. Almost wish we could add a couple more frames just to slow it down a little bit. But if we just uh Just trying to slow me down a little bit. on the head would help. Let's see. And then pull it back. Let's see. 
Okay, let's try play blast in that. See if we can get it to play that in a better frame rate here. Let's just call it uh, snail walk. Play blast that. So you can, it's almost like we could cut it down to like give us a, a frame in between everything. That feels pretty good once we can see it at a better playback speed here. Feels like it's working pretty well. I actually really like that a lot better than what uh, I was able to see when it was going. And that's one thing you'll notice too with animation is you always want to play, do play blasts so you can see it at speed and make sure all the stuff that you've got going is working. But I think that's a cute little snail. I think we could play up the shell rotation though. So that, let's see. I think it'd be the rotate Z. sway back and forth on the shell itself. I'm a lot happier with how it's working now that I was able to watch it back at speed. I feel like that's a lot more what I was looking for. It just feels a little jolty. This rig's a little heavier than uh, my computer likes to work at with my running uh, XSplit, which is the program I used to record, and trying to play it back at a frame. It's a little laggy on this rig, but that's okay. I think it's because it's all, um, rather than textured, it's got, like, what's that, like, probably a blend or a Lambert on it, and I think that's slowing it down a little. So let's, um, turn off our NURB curves, save our file here real quick, control S, and let's go ahead and play blast that one more time. Again, we're gonna, I'm gonna definitely do a closer up camera angle. I zoomed out a little bit more, but we'll just see if everything's working. Yeah, I like that. It feels pretty good. It feels very sluggish, almost. I don't mean sluggish as in slow. I mean like it feels maybe a little more like a slug than a snail, but they're kind of the way this guy's built is almost like a slug with a snail on his back any or snail shell on the back anyways. I like how that's working. It's okay, let's uh, zoom in a little bit more. Give us a better camera angle there. Make sure we're yeah, we've probably been zooming a little bit more there. Okay, let's go ahead and play blast that now. Overlap in the jaw and the layout is working a lot better. Yeah, that works pretty good. All right, well, this video might have a little bit of editing with it because uh, because a couple of things happened during the video, so I have to edit a couple of versions together. Um, so sorry about that. Hopefully that won't come across, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, remember to throw me some thumbs up. Um, if there's things that you like, if there's things that you don't like, definitely let me know. Um, remember to uh, keep in mind, um, don't think of yourself as a puny human, but think of yourself as a superhuman. And use that same mentality and that same thought process in your creative work today to hopefully try and motivate yourself to put extra effort and really try and go for it in whatever um, field you're in. And I hope you guys have a wonderful and awesome and amazing night. And we will see you and you and you and all of you guys tomorrow for more animation. Thanks again for watching. You are superhuman.